Okay, the homework was lesson B, only the first page, because we didn't finish with the lesson. So number one says, look at the pictures and write the special event, then complete the description with expressions in the box. Let's see. Uh, for example, number one, we have graduation day. It says Anne and her classmates are going to wear a cap in gown. <laughs> when they call her name, Anna's going to, what do you have, Damari? Get a diploma. Yes. Okay. Uh, Liz, can you read number two, please? The waiters are going to sing happy birthday and uh -huh. bring Erin a cake. She's going to make a wish and blow out the candle. Yes, blow candles. Correct. And uh, number three, Damaris. Alan and Karin are going to go out for a romantic dinner. After dinner, Alan's going to give her chocolate. Yes. And uh, number four. Please. Bruce and Sheila are going to a big party. They're going to see fireworks mm -hmm. on the beach. Then at midnight, they are going to shout Happy New Year. Excellent. Number five, Damaris. <laughs> Amat and Keisha are going to get married. During the wedding, they're going to exchange rings. After the wedding, they're going to have a, recep a reception. Reception, correct. And Luis, number six? John and Rudy are going to wear costumes of their favorite comic book characters. 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 When they are ready, they are going to go trick or training in the neighborhood. Perfect. Okay, well, this was the homework. As I said before, we did we didn't finish with the lesson B. Okay, so we've been talking about special events and celebrations. Okay, so let's see, let's review. Can you tell me names of some special days or celebrations? Mm, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Halloween. Uh -huh. Which one? Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. Uh -huh. What else? Wedding day. Wedding day, correct. Uh, oh, there are, there are many. Uh, New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, correct. Father's Day. Yes, it was yesterday. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Graduation Day. Yes, we have graduation day. Christmas. Christmas. Birthday. Birthday. Yes. I have a problem here with my wires. Give me a second. Okay, well, uh, let's review what we saw. Because Luis was absent for like two days, right, Luis? Yes. Hi, Luis, Luis, you were on vacation, Luis. Yeah. But um, let me see. I'm going to use the board. Let's practice with some courses. Okay, let's review celebrations. We have here two questions. Number one is, how are you going to celebrate your next birthday? For question number two, you're going to choose the celebration. You can ask 
um, how are you going to celebrate Christmas? How are you going to celebrate Halloween? How are you going to celebrate uh, Valentine's Day? Something like that, okay? Remember, we're using going to to talk about future events. So let's begin. Um, Luis, can you ask these questions to Damaris, please? Okay. How are you going to celebrate your next birthday? Um, maybe I think I'm going to eat out with my friends mm -hmm. and um, go out with my family. Go out or I'm going out? I'm going out. With my family? With my family. Okay, question two. <coughs> How are you going to celebrate Christmas? Um, I'm going to celebrate to my family and I maybe I I'm going to dance mm -hmm. and eat uh, a, a delicious food and delicious Special food? Yes. Okay, now the Maris is your turn. Questions to Luis, please. Okay, and how are you going to celebrate your next birthday? Um, I'm going out with my parents and maybe I'm going to go to the movie theater. Okay, correct. Right. Number two? Um, how are you going to celebrate Valentine's Day? Um, I'm going to visit my girlfriend. girlfriend. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm going to Galerias Diana. To Galerias Diana, okay, that's nice. Correct. So let's see. What? Okay, three more questions. Uh, what are you going to do after class? What are you going to spend? Where are you going to spend your next vacation? And what are you going to do tomorrow morning? So one more time, Luis, questions to the Maris. What are you going to do after class? Um, I'm going to eat with my mom and maybe I'm going to watch TV. Okay. Uh, where are you going to spend your ne next vacation? Mm. Mm, well, maybe I'm going to spend mm, here. In I'm Dominica. going to Uh, maybe going to spend here in Acapulco. So you're going to be here in Acapulco? Yes. Uh-huh. And maybe, okay. Mm -hmm. Number three, Luis? What are you going to do tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, um, I'm going to work at 10 a.m. Oh, okay. Thank you, Damaris. Now it's your turn. Ask these questions to Luis. Okay. Um, what are you going to do after class? I'm going to fly a kite. <laughs> and after, I'm going to eat with my parents. Okay. 
Okay. And where are you going to spend your next vacation? I'm going to maybe Cancun. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what are you going to do tomorrow morning? Uh, I'm going to go to classes to math. Are you taking classes in the morning, Luis? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes, but ah, but I mean, are you going to do an exam? Yes, next month. Next month? Yes. Where? In Cuernavaca. So you're going there, Luis? Yes. Ay, Luis. So that means that you're living in like a month and a half? Yes. Oh, no. Well, I don't know what to say. What are you going to study, Luis? Uh... Physica and math. No, but I mean about my the, major. Uh, uh, yes, major. Uh, ingeniería mecatrónica. Oh, Luis. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Yes. So, study, Luis. You have to pass that exam, okay? Yes. I know that you are very smart, Luis. You can do it. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Okay, well, now let's go back to the student book. We were with the lesson B. Okay, the last activity we did, uh, we completed this part. Uh, we were talking about these events. We were talking about some activities and we're going to start with the exercise two. In exercise two, we have, well, this is not a conversation. Uh, we have this girl, um, her name is Marcela. Uh, Marcela is just listening to a phone message. Here it says, listen to Marcela's phone message and what are her plans for New Year's Eve? Well, in this case, we're going to read, okay? So Damaris, you're going to read the part that says voicemail and Luis, you're going to read the part of Marcela, okay? Okay. okay. Go ahead, please. Let's begin. Hi, this is Lauri. Please leave a message after the beep. Thanks for calling. Hi, Lauri. This is Marcela. Listen, how are, what are you doing tomorrow night? A group of us are going out for dinner and then to be a uh, New Year's Eve party. Do you want to come? We're meeting at the restaurant at 8.30, and we're probably going to go to the party around 11. It's going to be a lot of fun, so call me back, okay? Oh, and be, by the way, they say it's going to snow tomorrow, so be careful. Bye. Okay, excellent. So pay attention. At the beginning, we have a question. It says, what are her plans for New Year's Eve. So according to this phone message, can you tell me what are her plans for New Year's Eve? What is she going to do? Going out for dinner. Going out for dinner, uh-huh. Meeting at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And she going to go to the party? The party. Okay, so let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we have this. It says we're probably going to go to the party. All right. 11. And he says it's going to be a lot of fun, and we look for another color. He says a group of us are going out for dinner. For dinner. And you have a question. What are you doing? 
tomorrow night. We're meeting at a restaurant. At 8.30. If it's going to snow. And here they say, it's going to snow tomorrow. Okay, if you pay attention, I underline some sentences in blue and the other ones in pink. Now pay attention to the exercise B. It says, find Marcela's plans, find the weather prediction. What performs does she use? So once again, can you tell me uh, what are Marcela's plans? What is she doing tomorrow? I mean, on Christmas. No, Christmas, no, New Year's. What is she going to do? I'm going out for dinner. Going out for dinner, uh-huh. Going to a big party. Uh-huh. What is mm, going to snow? Yes. And here it says find the weather prediction. What is the information that you have about the weather? What's the prediction for the weather? Can you see the weather forecast? It says find the weather prediction. What it says about the weather? Maybe snowy. It's going to snow? Yes. Okay, now pay attention to the first question. What are you doing tomorrow night? Pay attention to the verb form. Is it uh, present continuous, present? Are we using going to for future? What is it? What are you doing tomorrow night? Future. It's future, but if you pay attention, we are using present continuous. Can you see? Yes. What are you doing tomorrow night? They have present continuous. Then it says a group of us are going out for dinner. That one is present continuous too. If you pay attention, we are using present continuous to talk about future events. We are not talking about activities that we are doing right now. We are talking about activities in the future. And then it says, we're meeting at a restaurant at 8.30. Once again, if you pay attention, this is present continuous. But here, we are using it in order to talk about a future event. Can you see? Then we have, we're probably going to go to the party. Well, that is future with going to. It's going to be a lot of fun. Again, we know that is future with going to. And then we have the weather prediction. It's going to snow tomorrow. Well, as you can see here, um, if you want to talk about future events, we can use going to, or we can also use present continuous, okay? Pay attention to the grammar chart. Do you have explanation in the grammar chart? It says present continuous for the future, and we have going to. You can use the present continuous for going to to talk about plans. The present continuous is often used for plans with a specific, a specific time or place. Set. Now, um, just let me erase these lines. Now let's pay attention to examples. We have like two columns, okay? 
on the left, we are using present continuous. What are you doing for New Year's Eve? We're going to the Sea Grill for dinner. We're meeting friends there at 8.30. Once again, pay attention to the grammar chart. It says the present continuous is used for plans with the specific times or places. So in number one, we're going to the Sea Grill. As you can see, we are mentioning a place. And above says the present continuous is often used for plants with a specific time or places. So we're going to the cereal for dinner. We are mentioning a place. We're meeting friends there at 8.30. Here we have a time. As you can see, we are following the rule using present continuous to talk about future plans but we have to specify the time or the place. Sea Grill is the place, 8.30 is the time. Then on the second part, we have going to. What are you going to do for New Year's Eve? We're going to go somewhere for dinner. We're going to meet some friends at a restaurant. Well, we already know this, that we're going to use going to to talk about future. It's going to talk about future. If you compare uh, both columns, we have the same information. What are you doing for New Year's Eve? What are you going to do for New Year's Eve? It's the same, we're asking for people. We're going to the sea grill for dinner. We're going to go somewhere for dinner. Here, the difference is that in our first sentence, we are mentioning the name of the place, the sea grill. So we're using present continuous. On the second example, we are not saying where. We are only saying we're going to go somewhere for dinner, but we are not mentioning the name of the place. Then in our second example, we're meeting friends there at 8.30. We're mentioning the time on the second example, we're going to meet some friends at a restaurant. We're saying a restaurant. We don't know which one, and we don't know the time, okay? So once again, remember, when using present continuous to talk about future, you have to specify a place or specify a time. And it says that we can use uh, going to for predictions. Pay attention to the examples. It's going to be fun. For example, if you are inviting a friend to a party, and if you say this, oh, it's going to be fun, let's go. When you're saying it's going to be fun, it's a prediction because we don't know, okay? It's something that is going to happen in the future. We are just predicting that it's gonna be fun, but we still don't know, it's a prediction. Then the second example is going to snow tomorrow, once again, it's a prediction. Maybe it is not, it's going to be snowy tomorrow. Maybe it's not, so we don't know. We are just predicting, okay? So in that case, for predictions, we're going to use going to. So that is the difference. Do you understand the explanation of the grammar chart? Or do you have questions, doubts? No, the chart, I understand. Yes. Yes. No questions, Luis de Maris? Nope. No. Maris. Okay. I think I have some examples. Give me a second. Just let me erase this. have some examples. So we can use present continuous for future. Okay, well, here it says that we can use present continuous to talk about future events. For example, like I'm traveling tomorrow, he's traveling tomorrow, we're traveling tomorrow, I'm not traveling tomorrow, they are not traveling tomorrow. 
questions. Are you traveling? Is she traveling? Things like that. So we're using present continuous to talk about future. So now here, we're going to complete these sentences. Uh, I think it's too. We're going to complete these sentences using present continuous. Remember, we're talking about future events. For example, number one says, Sam is having lunch at the cafeteria tomorrow. We're using present continuous, but if you pay attention, we are mentioning the place at the cafeteria. There we have a place. In number two, well, this is a question. So, Luis, so, can I complete the question, please, and the answer? Are you flying to Dubai next week? Yes, are you flying to Dubai next week? Yes. Yes. You have the answer, yes? Can you complete the answer, please? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. Are you flying to Dubai? Yes, I am. Okay, the is number three, please. Mrs. Mrs. Martin is giving. Is giving, uh huh. Is uh -huh. her student a test in a few days? Correct. Number four, please. All right, the train. Uh-huh. Is uh, uh, uh. leaving? Or Pressing they... continuous, remember the train. Going? No. No, no, no. Pressing continuous. Leaving? Uh, we need a uh, verb B, remember the train. R, E, S, M. Are leaving in 10 minutes? Are leaving. It says the train, just one. Is leaving. Is leaving, yes. Is leaving. It's leaving in 10 minutes. Uh, number five, Maris. Uh, getting, getting up. Mm -hmm. Very early tomorrow morning yes. at five o'clock. Yes, I am getting up very early tomorrow morning. Correct. Number six, please. Arjun. Ar. Is John. Is, uh -huh. Is John uh, coming to the party? Uh -huh. uh, no, he's not. Coming to the party, no, he's. Okay, Damaris, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to a shopping mall this weekend. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am going to a shopping mall this weekend. Number eight, Luis. No, uh, we're going out on Friday. No, we... we. It says no and we have a comma. So you have to say no again. No, we. Negative form. No, we don't. We are not. Uh huh. We are not. Going out. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are not going out. I'll try to finish the sentence, please. Now we're not going out. On Friday, we are staying home. Excellent. That matters. Number nine, please. Tomorrow is Saturday. I'm sleeping late. Yes. I'm sleeping late. Number ten, please. I am playing football tomorrow. 
-hmm. afternoon at 2 30. Correct, the Maris. Sally turn off the TV. Will it is? Yes. Eating dinner soon. And the last one, please. Uh, we are are not giving. Having. One more time. No, we. No, we. Uh, are not. Uh -huh. Having a meeting today. Mm -hmm. It's at three o'clock tomorrow. Yes. No, we're not having a meeting today. Correct. Well, as you can see, once again, you are using present continuous to talk about future events. Okay. So let's see. Do you have questions again, guys? No. No, Luis? No. No. Okay, now let's go back to the book. Okay, so we are here. Okay, exercise A says match each plan with a prediction. For example, number one, my best friend's getting married in May. Let us see. It's going to be a, a fun wedding. So let's continue from number two to number five, please. Let's do it. Okay. I finish. Finish. Ready, Damaris? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Now let's see number two, Damaris. We're going to eat all pretty on Halloween. Uh -huh. It's letter D. It's going to rain, but we don't care. We don't care. Okay, number three, Luis. My parents are going to get me something special for graduation. Letter E. I think they are going to get me a laptop. Number four, Damaris. My sister is graduating from law school son. Mm -hmm. Letter B. She's going to be a great lawyer. Lawyer. Okay. And Luis, number five. I'm going to get my dad a tie for his birthday. Letter A, I think he is going to love it. Excellent. Okay, now let's move to the exercise for it says vocabulary notebook, page 42. Okay, well here. okay so this is the page 42. Are you on this page? Yes. 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 Well, I think this is easy. It says complete the calendar with words from the books. Well, as you can see, uh, you're going to complete with the names of the months. There are some names that are missing. And then you're going to complete the second part. For example, January 11, mom's birthday, buy her flowers and a cake. Uh, what's the next month after January? February. February, so you're going to write down February. You're going to look for the celebration. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. So okay. let's do it, please. Complete the chart.
Are you ready? No. No? Okay. I'm ready. Damaris. Ready, Damaris? I think so. You can do it, Damaris. <laughs> okay, well, let's do it together. It's not that difficult. Well, we have January, uh, then after January, Luis, what do you have? February. Uh huh. 14th, Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. Correct, Damaris. In March, in St. Christmas Day, go out for dinner. Go out for dinner, okay. Uh, Luis? I, April 1st, April, I, April Fool's Day. April. April. April Fool's Day, okay. Damaris? In May? Uh -huh. For my birthday. Okay, Luis? June 2nd, end of exams. And 21st, a school graduation, rent a cap and gown. Correct, the Maris. July, first summer vacation, class. Twenty two. 22. 20. Pay attention to the endings. You have an A and a D. Do you remember the ordinal numbers? 22nd. Second. Second. Uh -huh. 22nd, that's um, 65. Birthday and with retirement. Sorry? Retirement. Okay, once again, you said 65? One, uh, remember the, the original numbers, uh, Damaris. You have first, second, third, fourth, and? Fifth. Fifth, excellent. So is that 60? That. Uh-huh, 60, what? 65, Six? Damaris, <laughs> 65 <laughs> Damaris, one more time, 60. <laughs> I'm confused. Remember that we were using the ordinal uh, numbers, Damaris. Uh, we had the TH ending, that means that that one is an ordinal number. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. 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 So is sixty? Fifth. Fifth. Excellent. Fifth. Fifth birthday. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Luis. August sixteenth. Sixteenth. Summer party and uh, fireworks uh, at night. Yes, continue the Marys. September. Uh huh. Then, Jackie will be wearing anniversary. Uh huh. Then, then, um, car. Car. Yes. Continue, Luis, please. October 
Thirty first. Hello, Ben. Hello. Okay. The Maris. November. Mm -hmm. Twenty nine. Mm -hmm. Family reunion for mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Correct. And Luis. December thirty first. Uh, New Year's Eve party. Perfect. Okay. Now pay attention. In exercise two, uh, you have to make your own calendar. It says note important dates and plans in your year. Uh, let's think about, okay, we are in June. Think about celebrations or special dates that you are going to celebrate from this month, June, until December. I don't want you to write down a lot of celebrations. Let's think about at least three different celebrations, okay? And do it as in the exercise one, write down the month, the day, and the name of the celebration. Think of three celebrations, okay? For the rest of this year. So let's do it, please. Teacher, only three? Yes, just three. Mm Are you ready? Mm, yes. Mm, yes. <laughs> You're like not sure. <laughs> Are you ready, Luis? Um, yes. Um, yes. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying like this. Mm, yes. You are not sure or what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's begin with Damaris. Tell us, what are you going to celebrate this year? The wari. Uh-huh. Um, 40 Valentine's Day. And buy something special. Uh-huh. In March. Huh? In 26. Anniversary with my boyfriend. And... Hi. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> in April and then my birthday. Ah, uh, your birthday. Okay, excellent. Well, that's good. Hey, Luis, how about you? Um, June 18th, uh -huh. my birthday. Mm -hmm. November 1st and 2nd, day of death, of the death. Uh -huh. And December 24th. 24th? Christmas. Christmas, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much. Well, now let's go back to the... Okay, guys. Well, as you can see, this was the last activity of lesson B. Wait, here in lesson B, uh, we were talking about celebrations, about special dates. Uh, we can, we review going to, to talk about future events and also we practice with 
present continuous to talk about future events. Uh, remember, to use present continuous for future events, we have to specify times or places. And for predictions, we can use going to, not present continuous, only going to, to talk about predictions. Do you have questions about lesson B, Damaris, Luis? Mm, not before. No? No. No, excellent. Well, so let's go to lesson C. Lesson C is called festivals and things. So we're gonna continue talking about celebration, things like that. A conversation strategy says vague expressions. Exercise A, what do you think the underlying expression means? Check two ideas. If you pay attention here in the box, we have a sentence, we have a lot of festivals and things like that. As you can see, uh, in this statement, we underline, well, I mean in the book, it's underlined and things like that, this expression. Uh, what do you think the meaning of this expression is? You are going to choose two options. We have hobbies, we have celebrations, we have holidays. So, what do you think the meaning is for this expression and things like that? Mm, holiday? Or uh, hobby? Again, can you repeat again, please? Holiday? Holidays or hobbies? Or hobbies. You say holidays and hobbies. Luis? Celebration and hobbies. Celebrations and what? Hobbies. Hobbies. You were close. Well, pay attention. It says we have a lot of festivals. Festivals, we can think about celebrations, okay, it's correct. We can think about holidays, that is also correct. Hobbies, no, no, hobbies, no. So we can say we have a lot of festivals, celebrations, and holidays, or you can just say we have a lot of festivals and things like that. So with this expression and things like that, uh, you are avoiding giving like a big list of things. Let me write down another example. Yeah. Imagine that I said, Let's think about food. I like to be, let's think about Mexican food. Tacos, chocolates, and postnuts. Okay, another example. I like to Now let's see, I would like to watch, let me think about. Thinking this much. But here you have these examples. I like to eat tacos, enchiladas, and tostadas. I like to watch the Big Bang Theory and Friends. I enjoy playing soccer and basketball. Well, here next to, in my first statement, I'm giving a list of things that I like to eat. Like to eat tacos, enchiladas, and tostadas. Okay. 
If I don't want to say a big list of something, I can use that expression and things like that. I can say, I like to eat tacos and things like that. So if we are having a conversation and if we are talking about Mexican food, I mean like snacks, and if I tell you, if I tell you I like to eat tacos and things like that, well, you understand that I am talking about Mexican food. Maybe I'm thinking about enchiladas, tostadas, quesadillas, etc. Okay, so I'm not giving a big list. I'm just saying I like to eat tacos and things like that. In my example number two, I'm saying I like to watch the Big Bang Theory and Friends. Well, as you know, the Big Bang Theory is a sitcom. Friends is a sitcom too. So once again, if I don't want to give a list, I can say I like to watch the Big Bang Theory and things like that. So I'm trying to say that I like to watch the Big Bang Theory and TV shows similar to it. I mean, I like to watch sitcoms. Okay, so I don't give a big list again. And in my example number three, I enjoy playing soccer and basketball. First of all, we're talking about sports. And this is sports having common that we need a ball, okay, in order to play it. Once again, I, I can say I enjoy playing soccer and things like that. So now you have the idea that I am talking about is sports that include a ball. Maybe I'm thinking about basketball, I can think about volleyball, etc. And what we are going to need is just that expression. We can say and things or and things like that. So we can use these expressions. Once again, I like to eat tacos and things. I like to eat tacos and things like that. I like to watch the Big Bang, the Big Bang Theory and things. Or I like to watch the Big Bang Theory and things like that, okay? I enjoy playing soccer and things. I enjoy playing soccer and things like that, okay? So if you're having a conversation, you have the idea. You understand what I'm talking about. So remember, we're going to use these expressions. And these are called vague expressions. That's the name. Vague expressions. Okay? So we're going to use vague expressions in order to avoid giving a big list of things. Okay, so you're going to shorten your statement using this and things or things like that. Okay, do you understand with these examples, guys? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, well, now let's continue with the book. Well, now let's pay attention. Here we have a conversation uh, between Ray and Tina. Okay, first of all, uh, let's think about the place. Pay attention to the place. Where are they? In a restaurant. In a restaurant? Okay, maybe they're in a restaurant. Uh, what are they doing? Mm. Talk about festivals. They are talking about festivals. Okay, what is? Drink tea. They what? Drink tea. Yes, maybe they are drinking tea. Or coffee. Or coffee. Yes, maybe. They are talking about that. Well, here we have a conversation. We had Ray and we had Tina. Well, you're the only ones here today. So you're going to read the conversation. So Luis, you're going to be Ray, and Damaris, you're going to be Tina, okay? Okay. Okay, so start reading, please. Are you going to the fiesta this weekend? This weekend? 
I don't know if it depends mm. what this is exactly. Well, it's just, um, it's a festival, it's lots of parades. Parades. Parades and stuff like that. Everybody gets dressed, 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 dressed up, you know. You mean costumes? Yeah, there are hundreds. Hundreds. Hundreds of cute little kids in purple and silver outfits with makeup and everything. Hmm. Um, oh, uh -huh. um, I'm not big on parties. And there are good food. You can get all kinds of tacos and things. Do you want to go? Um, well, maybe. <coughs> okay, now let's change roles now. Luis, you are Tina. Damaris, you are Ray. Okay, go ahead, please. Are you going to the fiesta this weekend? I don't know. It depends. What is exactly? Well, it's... It's just, um, <coughs> it's a festival. Uh -huh. It's okay. lots of parades and stuff like that. Everybody gets dressed up, you know. You mean in costumes? Yeah, there are hundreds of cute little kids in purple and silver outfits with makeup and everything. Uh huh. Uh, I'm, I'm not big on parades. And there's good food. You can get a, you can get all kinds of tacos and things. Do you want to go? Um. Well, maybe. <laughs> okay. Well, if you pay attention, I underline uh, some expressions. The first one and stuff like that. Then and everything, and the last one and things. If you pay attention here, uh, they are using these expressions in order to avoid giving a big list of things. For example, Rain says, it's a lot of parades and stuff like that. So he's not giving a big explanation. He's just like shortening, okay, his answer. Then again, Ray says, uh, there are hundreds of cute little kids in purple and silver outfits with makeup and everything. Okay, so once again, he doesn't give a big explanation. And at the end, one more time, Ray says, you can get all kinds of tacos and things. Okay, so once again, he's not giving a big list, he's not giving a big explanation, he's using this these expressions, remember, in order to shorten the comment. Now, do you understand better the way we're going to use these expressions? Yes. yes. Remember, so we have and stuff like that, and everything, and things. And also you can say, and things like that, okay? Well, now let's move uh, down. So we are here. Uh, let's continue with exercise B. Okay. It says, what do the big expressions mean in these conversations? Choose two ideas from the box for each one, then practice with a partner. Well, here we have uh, some expressions. For example, I'm going to underline it. Stop. We have and everything, and stuff like that, things like that, and everything. So these are the expressions that we have. What we are going to do, uh, inside the box, we have some words. So you are going to change these expressions with a correct word, but Pay attention to the instructions. You have to choose two ideas, okay? Two ideas for each expression. For example, number one, do you go to a restaurant to celebrate birthdays and stuff? When we say birthdays and stuff, we can think about holidays or what other word do you think?
What is your second option? Anniversaries. Anniversaries. Yes, you have holidays. Anniversaries. Okay, so you're going to write down next to holidays, anniversaries. So that's what you're going to do. Read the conversations and next to the expressions, you are going to write down two words. Okay, from the ones that you have inside the box. So let's do it, please. Are you ready? Yes. Yes? yes. Ready, Luis? Yes. Okay, so we said that you go to a restaurant to celebrate birthdays and stuff. You say holidays and anniversaries. Can you read letter D, Damaris, please? Are you into traditional music? No, the letter B, yes. Damaris. What is number one? Number one, letter B. Yeah, we know a nice place. They bring bring out cake and everything. Uh huh. Mm. Okay, what are the words? See your friend. Which one? See all friends. See all friends. You know. Pay attention. It says they bring out cakes and everything. Bring celebrate uh, birthdays. Which one? Sing happy birthday. Sing happy birthday. Uh huh. Or, or candles. In candles. Yes, in candles. Correct. Number two, Luis, can you read letter A, please? Are you are you into traditional music and stuff like that? Um, folk folk songs. Folk songs. Uh -huh. um, and you need just one more. Cultural events. Yeah. Or, or no. concerts? Another, another. Dancing? Dancing, yes. Dancing. Okay, the Mary is letter B. Mm. There we have a lot of music festival. Uh -huh. And things like that around here. Uh huh. Mm. Cultural events. Mm hmm. And. Mm. Mm. Folk songs. Which one? Folk songs. 
No, remember folk songs was in letter A. Concert? Concerts. Yes. Concerts. Number three, well, letter A is just what are you doing for New Year's? Luis, B. I'm going home. I really want to see my family and everything. Uh -huh. uh, spend time at home and see old friends. Excellent. Spend time at home and see old friends. Perfect. Questions about this exercise? No, teacher. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move to the next part. Okay, we are here. Exercise two, we have vague responses. So, Luis, can you read this part, please? Vague responses. You can use responses like this if you're not sure about your answer. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe. It depends. Are you going to the fiesta this weekend? I don't know. It depends. What is it is exactly? Well, I, this is very easy to understand. So you already know uh, when someone asks you a question and you don't know the answer or you are not sure about the answer, you can say, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe. It depends. Okay. So these are the expressions that we're going to use in that situation. Now, let's go to the uh, exercise below. It says group work. Well, you're gonna work individual. Pay attention. Uh, you're going to think of a celebration. You can think about your favorite celebration. I don't know, it could be Christmas, Valentine's Day, New Year's Eve. I don't know, think about your favorite celebration. And according to that, uh, you're going to answer these questions. When is it? What does it celebrate? How do people celebrate? Do they eat any special foods? Do they wear customs or put up decorations? How are you going to celebrate it next time? Remember, think about your favorite celebration and answer the questions. And then you're going to ask these questions to each other. So I'm going to give you, I guess, with three minutes. Yes, you can do it. Yes. Okay. So let's begin. Remember, think about your favorite celebration and answer the questions.
Are you ready? No. No? Okay. Are you finishing? Yes. 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 Damaris. <laughs> you always like doubting Damaris. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Damaris. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, let's begin with, okay, Luis, can you start asking the questions, please, to Damaris? Okay. When is it? December 24th. December 24th. Uh -huh. What does it celebrate? Uh, with special food and fireworks. <laughs> uh, no, pay attention. What does it celebrate? Oh, uh, Christmas. Christmas, okay. <laughs> How do people celebrate? And with the special food and fireworks. Okay. And dancing. Okay. Do they eat any special foods? Well, sometimes and they or pozole. Okay. Do they wear costumes or put up decorations? Um, No, really, but but um, the decoration with with bow, uh huh, and the swimmer. Yes, you can think about, for example, the Christmas tree and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, how are you going to celebrate it next time? Well, I celebrate with my family and my, maybe my neighbor, and um, special food and dancing. Okay, now it's your turn, Damaris. When is it? And 31st, December. December 31st, uh-huh. 
Uh, what does it celebrate? And yours is? Hmm? How do people celebrate? At midnight, all the people showed Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. And do they eat any special food? Yes, in my family, eat pozole. Okay. Do they wear costume or put up decoration? Um, in my case, I don't, I don't do any of those things. You don't do anything. <laughs> okay. How are you going to celebrate the next time? I celebrate with all my family. I celebrate or I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to celebrate with my family. With your family. Okay, correct. Good. Oh, it's almost six, it's 6 p.m. Well, um, we're going to stop here. Tomorrow we're going to continue with the listening, the free talk, and we're going to do the lesson D. Okay, well, this was the lesson C. Remember, uh, we started using vague expressions. Do you remember what the vague expressions are? Do you remember the vague expressions? Things like that. Things like that, uh huh. And stuff like that. Uh huh, stuff like that. And. Everything. Yes. Okay, guys. Well, the homework for tomorrow is going to be, okay, pages 29, 30, and 31. 21, 30, 31. So it's the lesson C and the second page of lesson B. Yes, that is going to be the okay. homework for tomorrow. Do you have questions about this lesson? No. No? Okay, guys. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you for your participation. So see you tomorrow.